Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Ben and this is Talk Speak English. In today's class we are going to look at the film Madagascar and we are going to learn some great phrases and vocabulary that will help you sound like a true native speaker. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Now because of you, we're ruined! Because of me? I, I fail to see how this is my fault. You're kidding, right, Marty? You! You ticked off the people! You bit the hand, Marty! You bit the hand! I did not ask you to come after me, did I? He does have a point. What? I did say we should stay at the zoo, but you guys... Melman, just shut it! First up, we have the adjective ruined, which normally means when a building is very badly damaged or has gradually fallen down because no one has taken care of it. In this example, however, ruin refers to the reputation of the animals. If someone's reputation is ruined, it means it has been destroyed or damaged by an event. For example, we could say that the former baseball star O.J. Simpson's reputation was ruined after he was accused of murdering his ex-wife Nicole and her friend Ronald Goldman in 1994. To kid someone is another way to express the verb to joke. In other words, she is saying, are you joking? You're kidding, right, Marty? You! You ticked off the people! To tick off is a great English phrasal verb, which means to annoy. For example, the builders really ticked off the neighbours by working so early in the morning. To bite the hand that feeds you is an idiom in English which means to act badly towards the person who is helping you or has helped you. For example, by stealing money from his manager, he bit the hand that fed him. In this example, the idiom is abbreviated to just bit the hand. Let's take another look. You bit the hand, Marty! You bit the hand! And not ask you to come after me! To come after someone means to follow them or chase them. What? I did say we should stay at the zoo, but you guys... Melman, just shut it, please. Leave Melman out of this, please. Thank you, Gloria. Besides, Alex, it's not my fault that we were transferred. Melman, shut it. Does anybody feel nauseous? I feel nauseous. In the past simple, the auxiliary did, followed by the bare infinitive form of the main verb, can be used in affirmative sentences to express emphasis. In speech, the auxiliary is stressed. Let's take another look. What? I did say we should stay at the zoo, but you guys... Melman, just shut it! Shut it is short for shut your mouth. In other words, it means you want someone to be quiet. To leave out is a phrasal verb, which means not including someone in a discussion, collection, or group. For example, after failing to meet his targets, the group decided to leave him out of the meeting. To feel nauseous means when you feel sick and you want to vomit. Now because of you, we're ruined! Because of me? I, I fail to see how this is my fault. You're kidding, right, Marty? You! You ticked off the people! You bit the hand, Marty! You bit the hands! I did not ask you to come after me! Did I? He does have a point. What? I did say we should stay at the zoo, but you guys... Melman, just shut it, please. Leave Melman out of this, please. Thank you, Gloria. Besides, Alex, it's not my fault that we were transferred. Melman, shut it. Does anybody feel nauseous? So there we are, guys. Another video done for you there, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content in the future. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.